parallax error. When asked to read a measurement from a scale, we are always reminded to avoid parallax error. And to avoid that, we need to know exactly where we have to place our eyes. Sometimes, laziness gets to us because it's not always easy to look at eye level. But parallax errors may have very unwelcome results. Some might think it's hotter than it really is, or some might think you have gained weight. <laughs> they might read that you're heavier than you really are. So to avoid parallax error, it's been drilled during science lessons to read measurements at eye level. But what does eye level really mean? Here is a liquid thermometer. When reading off temperature, some people look from above, some people look from below. These are not the right ways of reading off temperatures. This is reading from eye level. If you look closely, the end of the object being measured and the scale and the line of vision are all along a straight line and the line of vision is perpendicular to the scale and the object. But how exactly does parallax error happen? Let's look at a diagrammatic explanation. When you look at eye level, the level of the object and the scale are on the same level, the same line. Hence, you read off the right value, which is 70 degrees. But, if you look from above, the line of vision looks like this. The object and the scale are at an angle. Hence, the end of the object appears to be aligned to 68 degrees. This is parallax error. Similarly, if we look from the bottom and draw the line of vision, the object and the scale are still at an angle. Now, the object is seen aligned to 74 degrees. So, does looking from below necessarily result to getting a higher reading than the actual value? Well, not necessarily. In this setup, the object being measured is between the eye and the scale. But what happens if the scale is now between the object and the eye? To find the answer, you again have to draw the line of vision. If you look at your diagram, the line of vision crosses at 66 degree mark. Now this gives you a lower value than the actual value. Whether parallax error results to a higher or a lower reading depends on the position of the eye, the scale, and the object. To get the right answer, you need to draw the line of vision to be sure if you're getting a higher or a lower reading. That's it! Here's a summary about parallax error. Parallax errors result in inaccurate readings. Readings might be higher or lower than the actual value, and they depend on the position of the eye, the scale, and the object. However, parallax error can be easily avoided by reading at eye level. So don't go around reading with parallax error. That's the end. Request more videos by commenting below or email me at inspiringsciencegeek at gmail.com. Till next time!